What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. Good to have you here. So today I wanna to talk about three easy ways to get more listings. Something you can take action on right now. Something you can take, you can get out there, you can talk to a live prospect that's looking to sell their house and try to capitalize on that moment. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. Now I go deeper with these strategies and show you all kinds of other things including everything that I do in my business to sell 100 properties a year every year since 2014 is still going in my completely free real estate coaching program at zero2diamond.com. I'm the first completely free real estate coach and I'm on a mission to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. That's why I'm bringing you all this free content just to try to help you take your business to another level. Why? Because I've been there. I know what it's like to struggle to try to figure it all out right and I feel like I have the key I have the missing ingredient to your business and the main part of it is the fact that you're trying to go after the deal so hard you're trying to convert 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 and we're losing sight of the actual connection with these people and once you realize that it's relationships over transactions now we have to take that philosophy mainstream talk to as many people as we can letting them know that we're here to help them build our database and brand around the fact that we're honest hardworking, dependable professional and all we want to do is help them achieve their goals whenever they decide they're ready to buy or sell it's a hard-working low-pressure way to build your business for now because you find people that want to do deals right now and the future because most of the people you talk to want to do deals later with you so the key is is that 70% of people you talk to are not gonna like you or already have another agent but 20 to 30% of people that you talk to are gonna love you enough to do business with you and those are the people we're going to build our business around so I want to give you three really easy tips right now to get more listings, okay? So the very first tip, okay, this is something I've never really talked about, but it's something that I do, and I really like this technique, and I'm actually gonna do a whole separate video just on this technique, but it is networking with other agents, okay? What I like to do is I like to let the other agents in the area, especially the ones that represent a lot of buyers, in my market. You can look at MLS and find the ones that represent a lot of buyers. And what you're gonna do is you're going to approach these agents and let them know, hey, I circle prospect, okay? I cold call, I farm, okay? If there's a buyer that you have that you can't find the property for, okay, let me know and I will go find it. So this is a strategy that has worked for me so many times and it does so many things. So I wanna get into that strategy a little deeper on an entire video um, because that's a whole nother subject all in itself, but it's a really good strategy and uh, I think that you, everyone should be using this, networking with other agents, seeing what buyers they have, seeing what sellers they have, and just networking to try to you know, put the pieces of the deals together. Okay, I have this buyer, I have this seller, da da da, and boom, because there's a lot of stuff going on off market. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. The second way to get new listings really quickly, right, and to find the low hanging fruit is to door knock expireds okay so everyone's heard of door knocking just the entire neighborhoods right and that's really effective as well however a lot of those people aren't ready yet but the expired listings okay that property just came off the market chances are they still want to sell it they just it just didn't sell while it was on the market for whatever reason so what we want to do is we want to door knock the expires and want to approach them in a very low pressure way. So there's a link in the description with a video that goes through the exact door knocking script that you need to have. The video is not long at all. It's actually Ben Steven. Um, he actually tweaked my circle prospecting script for a door knocking script. And the door knocking script that he is discussing in the video is more for canvassing an entire subdivision. So I want you to tweak it 
for the expired that you're door knocking. I just want you to say, hey, you know, I see that your house expired off the market. I didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you sell this property and get into the conversation, pay attention to Ben's body language and kind of the words that he's using and the mentality and philosophy behind it and get out there and start those conversations and see what you can do to help those people. The cool thing about door knocking expires is, is sometimes with expires you can't find the phone number. And that's why I say this is something that there's probably not a lot of agents doing. And I don't want you to go just drop something off, which that's what a lot of agents are doing. They're just going and dropping off a package on their door without really knocking on the door. For whatever reason, they would do that. Go there, knock on the door, talk to them if you can't find their phone number. Call the ones you can find, make a list of the ones you can't, go door knock them. I'll also put a link in the description of a video of me calling Expireds Live. And the third easy tip I want to give you today to get more listings quickly is I want you to get out there and I want you to help for sale by owners for free. I know I've talked about this a lot and a lot of you have probably heard this a couple times. I'm still pushing it because I really believe in it. I think that if someone, if an agent is sitting there and they're, they're down on sales or down on their self, they're down on everything and they're just kind of in this mode of just being negative and just saying, oh, this real estate thing isn't working for me or complaining or making excuses. There's no excuse for really any of this, right? There's no excuse at all. There's plenty for sale by owners you can go talk to, see what you can do to help them. The strategy for that, I've said over and over and over again, you can find it everywhere. I'll put a link in the description of me talking about the exact strategy, what you need to do, but we wanna get out there and just help them sell those properties for free. Find out why they're selling, see if they have an agent uh, that they would work with if they were to list it, and then proceed with helping them in every way possible to sell that property on their own, okay? And the scenarios are this, I'll tell you real quickly. If they sell it, they're gonna buy another one, what agent are they gonna to use to buy the next one? Chances are you, it's a really high possibility. If they throw the towel in three weeks later and decide to list it with an agent, what agent are they gonna use? You already established that they don't have an agent they would list with if they were to list it. Now you just helped them for free the best you could, gave them everything you had, they're probably gonna pick you to list the property. Chances are, you're not gonna win them all, that's the thing. I think agents are getting too down on themselves about the fact that they're not getting everyone or if they take a loss, it really hurts them and they feel discouraged and losing is the best thing that could happen to you, right? Losing deals, I've said this a lot in the past, I haven't said it a lot lately, for, so for you, those of you who are just now subscribing or just subscribed within the past month or so, losing a deal, is like God's gift to you. Because number one, you learn something, you need to replay in your head and figure out what you learned, and then say, okay, I'm gonna do this better next time. But the real magic behind losing a deal is the fact that you don't have to spend any more future time on that deal anymore. All the hours that you would have had to spend if you got the deal, you now got those hours back that you can utilize to go get what? Five more deals. Yeah, you can use that same time that you would have spent on that deal getting five more deals, initiating five more transactions in the same time frame. Okay, so I think where people go wrong is the fact that they're taking that future time and feeling down on themselves and sulking about the one that got away when they should be ramping their business up with that extra time. So I hope at least one of these three ideas you haven't heard before, I hope it's something that you utilize right this second after this video, I want you to start game planning, I want you to go execute on one, two, or all three of these strategies. Okay, so the first one was I want you to network with more agents about what buyers and sellers they have. Okay, and I want you to start going after through circle prospecting certain neighborhoods, subdivisions, complexes that these agents have buyers for but they can't find the properties. Okay, so that, that happens a lot, especially in now's market where inventory is kind of low there's a lot of buyers out there that can't quite find what they want, what they need. Okay, so if you would network with some of these agents that have these buyers, you will run into these kind of deals and it will give you an opportunity to circle prospect. Make it a video on that one coming soon. The second thing is I want you to door knock expires. 
okay? I want you to take the expired you can't find phone numbers for, I want you to go knock on the door. I want you to use Ben Stevens' strategy and philosophy behind it, tweak it for expired listings, and go get them. And the third thing is, is I want you to go out there and help for sale by owners for free. And if you'll notice, all three of these strategies are an essentially free strategies. They're free, right? If you network with other agents to find what buyers they have, that's free. Okay, to circle prospect, you should use Red X to find those phone numbers, geo leads. Okay, geo leads, you put the address on the address bar and it finds all the phone numbers of the owners in that subdivision with the click of a mouse. Okay, save $150 with the link in the description, Red X discount, boom, go there, get geo leads, you're off to the races. Um, it's the best thing that I've ever seen for real estate agents because I used to spend 10 hours a day looking up numbers, now I just click with a mouse. So geo leads for Red X is $50 a month. Okay, so that's the only thing out of this that costs money, right? But it's only $50 a month to circle prospect. Every agent should have that. Okay, Not door knocking on expires. Again, Red X offers expires that come directly to your folder, your expired folder in Red X. Every day they just download them into your folder with all the information. So every agent should have that as well. Um, and then the free for sale by owner thing, for sale by owners are free everywhere. Red X offers for sale by owners, but I don't suggest getting them from Red X because they're free everywhere else on for sale by owner.com, Zillow, you know, just drive around and find for sale by owner signs. So all of these ways are incredibly cheap and very effective. And that's what you want. You want an effective, efficient business. So take something I said today and go execute right this second. Please like this video, shoot me a comment, let me know what video you want me to make. Let me know what in the world I can do for you and until the next video, let's go.